For the past 100 days, me and my friend Small have been surviving in the hardcore mod pack Dark RPG. With crazy mobs like, uh, this guy and, uh, that guy to the darkest dungeons. We're gonna see how many bosses we can defeat in 100 days, if we can even make it that far. This is 100 Days of Dark RPG. So to start things off, we were presented with a screen that let us choose our origin and our class. For my origin, I chose the uh, mage, which was pretty cool. I wanted to do some magic throughout this playthrough. Super exciting. And then for class, I went with the cleric because it kind of fit the whole mage thing. Hello. Roar. Oh, jeez, get, get oh. back. Wait, how do wow. I use my how do I use my fireball? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. After that, we saw some charged creepers, which was super scary because, you know, charged creepers and it's day one and that's not safe. After running away from the charged creepers, the most incredible thing probably happened that could have happened to start off this run for the 100 days. We found a totem of undying, but then this happened later. Got him. Oh my Jesus. Oh, oh no, the house. The house. I didn't think it you, through. No, you did no damage to him. Wait, we can't oh, get out. You're coming through the door, through the door. Make it three wide. Oh, I just got one shot. The totem of undying saved me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we gotta run. We gotta run. run. The house is on fire. No. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so now that that's out of the way, um, we can start over. I went with the same class and same origin, and we ended up finding this pretty interesting house, which had a bunch of loot, nothing too crazy. Um, got a little bit of gear, but Small did get stuck in the toilet, and that happened. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You're stuck? I don't know why, but it slowly slipped me into the toilet. <laughs> I don't even want to help you now. And then we also found this cool chicken hat, which was pretty awesome. And later, after we left the house, Small found a pretty awesome sword. I really don't know how she got it, but she got it somehow. Okay, so we gotta sleep before something spawns and we lose our world day one again. The next day, we found a village, which was pretty awesome because we were able to get a diamond. You got a- what? It's all about that money. Nothing too exciting other than like raiding the village, taking all the loot for ourselves, and that's pretty much it for day two. I really hope there's no predatory animal in this water. <laughs> I mean, aren't you the predatory animal in the water? What? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Offensive. Take Offensive. that as like a dragon and not like a human predator. <laughs> This will just be a hundred days of thermite insulting small. On day three, we found this sunken ship, which was super awesome. It had some crazy loot inside it. We got a bunch of gems, a bunch of money, all stuff that we had no idea how to use. So it pretty much sat in the inventory. But after that, we found this really creepy structure, which I handled accordingly. I'm a professional here. No, no, This wait. is an ossuary. This... Oh, it just wait. moaned. Oh my gosh, what? Problem solved. And then, while we were looting another place that didn't really have any notable loot, um, I almost got trapped by some falling gravel. We looted it all. Or at least... Oh, 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 oh. What? I almost got trapped. Day four was a little bit uneventful. We were looking around, looking at the biomes, trying to find a spot that was suitable for a pretty awesome base. Once we found a spot, we were kind of just digging around, collecting some wood, and getting the general layout for the base. Since Small chose Dragon, her player model was a little bit larger than the regular player model, so she had trouble getting into the house, so I decided to make this garage door. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> you, get a sl you get a garage door to enter. And other than that, really, we were just doing basic base building stuff. Nothing nothing too exciting there. Day six, we found the uh, skill tree, which was super awesome. We were able to upgrade some combat points. We also found this wolf while we were heading out to go mining. Also wolves found right a place. Aww. No way. No way. Come on. I need a name. Give me a name. <gasps> Larry. Get him, Larry. Go, Larry. <laughs> Did he do it? I just, whoa, Larry got him. After we got done mining, though, 
uh, the day had already changed to seven, and we found this geode. And what happened next? Um, well, you'll you'll see. He's against. He's against dragon. Ow! Wait, wait! You hit no, me. No, 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 Your no, dog's no, no. after me. Sit Larry, him. Sit him down. Uh, sit, sit him down. Sit. Oh my gosh, Larry! Don't, don't, don't. I. We're gonna. Me too. I almost had to put him down. So now Larry hated small, so uh, we needed to leave him behind. Bye bye, Larry. We won't forget about you. We'll forget about you. I also got this magic wand that I had absolutely no idea how to use, but you know, since I'm a wizard, I figured I'd I'd figure it out later. <laughs> that terrified me. Day eight, we saw another village, so we decided to go ransack it for all its loot, as you always do in Minecraft, and it actually had some pretty interesting stuff. We found these brilliant diamonds, which were pretty awesome. Not really much we could do with them just yet, but it was cool to have. Definitely getting all the crazy loot from the mod pack. On the start of day nine, we found a chest that had some magic books in it, which is pretty awesome because, you know, we're trying to get the magic going, especially because I'm a mage. And we also found this thing called an experience bush seed that I we, I we just assumed it lets us grow experience and we kind of need experience to get some super cool enchantments. And then um, I slept in the lake for some reason. I don't really know why. <laughs> Bro, what All right, are you I'm doing? Sleeping. I'm sleeping in the middle of the lake. We took our waystone that we found from the village or uh, we, we stole from the village, placed it down, which was super useful because pretty much anywhere that there's another waystone in the map, we can teleport back to our base. And then we also uh, planted our experience bush seed to kind of see how it worked, which was very good. I mean, it, it gave experience and that's kind of what we needed. Day 11, we started crafting some more exciting gear. I decided to make some emerald armor. It's just, we just had a lot of emeralds. And once I crafted it, I realized you got hero of the village whenever you wore it, which was super useful once we get more villagers later. And small also crafted backpacks for us, which we really need because there's so many items in this mod pack and we have like no inventory space. On day 12, since we had the emerald armor that kind of gave us hero of the village, I decided it might be worth it to go kidnap another villager and bring him back to the base. Did you kidnap someone? Uh, uh, that's a very unfair way to word it. And pretty much after going and grabbing him, we came back, kept working on the house. Kind of took us a while to build the house. We decided to make a pretty epic house, so you'll see that get built throughout the days. Through day 13, we kind of just were still working on the house, uh, just getting it nice and roomy so we could keep all of our awesome loot that we get from adventures. Kind of just getting prepared for what's to come on this this playthrough. On day 14, we took our villager that was kind of, you know, just sitting out in the open. Moved him into a little house that we made. Very roomy. And, um, yeah, day 15, we, uh, I don't even remember really what happened, but we kind of just stood still the whole day. Um, maybe we had, like, lunch or something? I don't really know. I don't remember this at all. So, yeah, day 15. But day 16 was the most dangerous day so far. I'm not going to tell you what's about to happen, but I'm going to show you what happened. Oh, there's a charged creeper right there. What is... Is that... That... I promise you that's Big Chungus. That's literally Big Chungus. Why is he here? He's evil! Oh! Here, wait, wait, wait. We can do this. We can do this. Wait, I have an idea. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. So yeah, that happened. But with that, we realized we were able to do a little bit of combat. So we decided to go on a little bit of an adventure and we saw this pillager camp, but it was getting close to dark. So we decided to sleep and wait until the morning to go loot it. On day 17, we got up, we went to the pillager camp, did the fight, took the loot, and we kept adventuring. Nothing really too crazy. We did find another pillager place. It didn't have anything too exciting. We were still on our adventure on day 18, and we stumbled across this, which was really kind of just scary. Oh, I see him. Who is that? I'm scared that he might be dangerous. That's terrifying. Should we leave? Wait, you walked by him. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're not strong enough for this just yet. I don't feel safe. Hopefully he looks dangerous. Um, but yeah, that there really wasn't much going on. We kind of got scared and left, and we just robbed another village. That was day 18. 
To kind of like close out our adventure on day 19, we stumbled across this dungeon looking tower sort of thing. Um, we checked it out for a little bit, but once we saw the mobs, we got a little intimidated and we decided to just go back to base. Hit okay, us. we're, yeah, that, that looked a little dangerous. So we're gonna go home. Anything that has a sword and strength is not safe. But once we did get back, we were able to talk to the villager and we got Mending, which was awesome because it was super cheap because we still had Hero of the we Village. We don't have any diamonds. Mending, 13. That's huge. Okay, throw me emeralds in a book. Day 20 was super exciting because since we had a little bit of experience left over and, uh, you know, enough stuff to make enchantment tables, we were able to get some low-level enchants to get us just a little bit stronger to hopefully not get one shot. And after that, we followed it up with some mining, which was, you know, pretty generic, much like any mining goes. But we did find this lapis geode, which was cool because it kind of just grew lapis. I mean, not too useful because we weren't really needing any lapis, but we were interested if there were any other geodes that, you know, grew, you know, maybe diamonds or something. Day 21, while we were mining, we came across this dungeon that we saw on the minimap. So we just mined, mined, mined until we got there. And it was this skeleton dungeon, which was a little bit interesting because... It had a lot of bones, it had a lot of emeralds, and it had a lot of name tags. So we pretty much just looted it and got loaded on all three of those items. But at one point, it got a little bit too close for comfort. Immediate death. Oh, no, he has oh, a sword. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm I'm not in a good spot. Oh, I'm trying. Oh. Bro! Careful! Oh. Yeah, so we decided it was probably a little bit too dangerous to stay, so we headed out and went back to base, dug up, you know how it goes. We return home on day 22, and using all the bones that we got from the dungeon, we just kind of made this little thingy that just spammed bone meal onto the XP bush, and it got us a ton of XP. So that was kind of epic, and we were able to get to level 30 pretty easily. On day 23, since we had so much XP, we decided, hey, we can we can make some pretty good enchants. So we went back to a village that we had already been to, um, ransacked the bookshelves, and, you know, maybe took another person, you know, home with us nicely. On day 24, since we had all the bookshelves that we'd gotten from the village, we were able to make the full enchantment table, which was super epic because we were actually able to get some awesome enchants on all of our gear, or at least what we could, you know, manage to get. I just got looting four on this sword. Lifesteal two, sweeping edge five. And then other than that, nothing really much happened. We were just kind of doing XP and enchants all day. Now that we had some super awesome gear though, we decided that once we woke up for, for day 25, we were gonna fight some mobs to see kind of how strong we were. And well, here's how it went. Oh. Ooh. Broke just one heart. Is that all of them? Yeah. Yeah, get them. Yeah, get them. Yeah, get them. All right, <laughs> there we go. After we got done, we kind of just headed back to the mines to get some more loot. We needed to get some stronger gear and, you know, obviously some more resources. It passed into day 26 while we were underground, and we got this interesting quest reward while we were mining. Wait, check your inventory. Inventory. <laughs> that was not... Wait, I have a crossbow, arrows, diamonds... Diamond sword? Did you get all that? No, because you achieved it. Oh. In chat, it says... Oh, there's rewards for these quests. I didn't even know that. What the heck? Continuing to day 27, we were still underground mining, getting all sorts of different loot, and we came across... <laughs> we came across this biome, and, you know, we, we had to pick, take ourselves home, you know. A souvenir. Come here, you. Come here, boy. Got him. <laughs> day 28 we return home we had a bunch of resources from mining there's there's honestly too many for us to keep track of we kind of looked through the gear tab to see what was important and uh after that i also crafted a auto smelting system or well i got started on crafting an auto smelting system because it was taking too long to kind of import everything manually i don't think we used anything modded to make the smelting system it's just your generic like furnace with hoppers on day 29, I end up finishing the smelting system and throw all of our resources in, which was pretty awesome because, you know, we, we were able to just mine as much as we want now, set it in the chest, and all of our stuff would be smelted. 
Later in the day, once all of our loot smelted, we had a bunch of extra gold, a bunch of extra stuff, but with the gold and iron, we were actually able to make these golden chests, which were like insane because they had so much storage, which was super helpful since we had so many items. Whoa! That's so big, it takes up my entire screen. Day 30, though, I figured out how to do the magic. Boom. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Which is absolutely insane. I can finally start being the mage that I wanted to be from the beginning. In order to do the magic, I had to kind of get up to this cloud thing and get some ore and stuff like that. The wands actually, like, the spells that you unlock go to a specific element, and the type of wand that you use to that element is basically, you know what you need to use to be able to cast the spell in the first place. So I needed an air wand to cast one of the air spells or a few of the air spells that I had found. I hadn't found any earth spells, so that's why my earth wand didn't do anything. Here, wait, back up, back up. I got this guy. I'm a whip. No way he just did that. No way he just, just fell in there. Day 31 and day 32 were kind of mixed together. It was more mining, getting resources, but on day 32, we found a spawner, which I saw on the minimap, so we dug to it and kind of just started getting it prepped and lit up everywhere to make an XP farm for, you know, us to keep enchanting all the new gear we're going to be making. And that's pretty much what we did for the whole day. Kind of while we were returning back to base, it transitioned over to day 33. And once we got back to base, we thought we were pretty strong, actually, with our gear, and we kind of wanted to see how powerful we were. So we fought a few mobs at night, and that was pretty much it for day 33. Got one. How you doing? Day 34, we returned back to our spawner. We had a few extra waystones, so we were able to, you know, make it to where we could get there and back super easy. And we kind of just built from day 34 to day 35, just getting the spawner fully ready. Towards the end of day 35, we actually finished and were able to get the XP we needed to do some super good enchants later. Day 36, while we were farming at our spawner, we actually got one of the items for Bosses of Mass Destruction. Wait, what is this? Oh, <gasps> Bosses of Mass Destruction Soul Star. And you know what? Now that I think about it, <laughs> we ended up losing these later in the series or later in the days. And I bet they were at this spawner and we forgot to come check. But uh, we leveled up a bunch at the spawner and kind of just did some enchants. Nothing really too crazy happened today. Day 37, we actually were feeling really kind of strong now that we had our levels and stuff, so we went to the airship that had been around our base, and, well, here, I'll just show you the playthrough of it. Wait, can you light this up more? I'm scared. I was doing all that by myself! You left me! It was crammed. I couldn't fit. Bro, they're strong. They take a couple hits from my sword. Bro, he's strong. I got beat with shoot. I can't get out. Sorry, I'm taking care of everything up here. You called me out for not doing much, so I'm I'm, I'm doing much. The magma cubes are so huge. Okay, I think we're safe. This I just got the fizzy hammer. <laughs> What is that? I have no idea, but I love it. On day 38, we kind of started thinking that, like, these, this airship has, like, a lot more spawners than our spawner that we're using for XP. So, so I started thinking and decided maybe we should just make a spawner out of these spawners up in the airship. So I kind of started clearing out everything. And, uh, <laughs> oh, here's where I figured out how the hamster hammer works. Oh, my gosh. What? They have swords! Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, it kind of actually sucked. I may have used it like one more time, but then I kind of don't really use it for the rest of the run, so, you know, here it is. On day 39, it was a pretty big day because Small had crafted a diamond paxel, which is like a pickaxe, axe, and a shovel all in one. But I decided like, oh, I should probably make one of these too. So I made it and enchanted it. But before I could get it enchanted, this happened. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <gasps> wait, a dark magic destroys all blocks. Wait, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, I got a bunch in, 10 seconds. 
Oh my gosh. There is no way. Our house. My bed. After we got that figured out, I was able to enchant my Paxel. Efficiency five. Efficiency five silk touch Paxel. With all the mining upgrades that I had from the skill tree and the enchantments that I got, I was actually able to insta mine stone, which was huge because, you know, we need to mine things fast. <gasps> I insta mine stone. Oh my gosh, what? Day 40, nothing crazy really happened. We just did some fighting underground, um, kind of while we were mining, getting a little bit more resources to be crafting the high level armor that we were using. On day 41, we actually constructed the nether portal, but we were kind of just making it to make it. We didn't really use it yet. We figured it was probably a little too strong for us, at least right now. That's pretty much it. We were kind of mostly just working on enchants and gearing up the rest of the day. On day 42, we actually had a zombie villager show up. So we decided to keep him and kind of cure him, which, you know, gave us some, some pretty good deals. On day 43, we kind of realized that our other villager that was in the small little, I mean, uh, large, uh, four bedroom, four bath apartment staying next to him, uh, got turned into a zombie. So we, we kind of had to cure him as well. There he is. Give me those deals. Day 44 was kind of a sad day because I had been doing a lot of work on the airship throughout the days, kind of clearing it out, getting it ready to be turned into a spawner. But while I was using our other spawner and um, kind of just leveling up, it stopped spawning mobs. So we, we just decided that, you know, spawners have a limit and you can't really keep spawning things after a while. Maybe the spawners are capped. Yeah, that's disappointing. Day 45 kind of got to work with this imbuing table. It, it really kind of took up the whole day. I can't remember exactly what all I did. I think it was mostly just like getting some resources that I needed, but nothing really too crazy happened here. But on day 46, I actually got a new bow that we used the brilliant diamonds that we had gotten earlier in the days um, to make it. And it <laughs> it's really strong. And we took it on a new adventure. This bow is very strong. This is not dragon friendly. Fair. Day 47, the adventure was kind of continued. Um, nothing really too crazy happened. We just kind of stopped at a few places, saw a few things. Didn't really get too much crazy stuff. Day 48, the you remember the building that we were terrified of that we kind of ran through early, ran Stress. away from early in the playthrough? Yeah, we were actually went to that and we we did we did well. We we killed a lot of things, which you know Ooh. that's huge progress for us. If I would have known how good the bows were. I would have done bow first. No. Just, oh, there's a few guys. Are those husks? I have no idea. Oh, that's a that's a creeper. Oh, whoa! Spooky! What are they? I don't know, but they're spooky. But day 49 is when everything changed. We finally we're able to start the main goal of our 100 days, and that was finding our first boss. Oh, I found something. I see it on the mini-map. Changed to day 50, kind of while we were heading underground, and we kind of just wanted to wait till day 50 to do the boss, because, you know, that'd be cool to do our first boss on day 50. But we started the fight right on day 50, and here's how it went. Oh, I see him. He doesn't see us yet. Do you have a water bucket? We don't. Oh, he's summoning something. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I can't, I can't. Ah, I'm too tall. Ah. Get out of there. Not safe, not safe. Ow, ow. Keep fighting. Oh, he did not like my bow. Do you see his health? Okay, I think we need to mine these things. He uses these flowers. Oh. Uh. got this. Uh, can I shoot him again? I can. Oh my goodness. I got him. Is he, wait, is he gone? Yes, yes, I got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got the first boss on day 50. After successfully taking out the Void Blossom, we headed back home, 
And we decided, you know, we took that thing out pretty easily. Maybe we could go to the nether. And, uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Holy moly. There's a lot of pigs. Wait, is this Shulk? It, this is Skulk. <gasps> oh, no. The warden's spawning. Go back and... Oh my goodness! What? what kind of spawn is that? Yeah, so the biome that spawns the warden is like right next to where we go in the nether, so that's a little intimidating. Day 51, I crafted this minigun and tried it out on some of the local wildlife. Come on, do a lot of damage. <laughs> I love this thing. Day 52, we were ready for the nether. We went in and started exploring. We found this nether fortress. I think it's a nether fortress. It might just be like retextured or not retextured. Re I don't know. Remade, remodeled. I don't know. Regardless, it had some interesting loot. Nothing too crazy. Fought some blazes, fought some wither skeletons. No wither skeleton heads dropped. Got a little bit of loot. Um, but it was a pretty cool place to see. Day 53 was actually super exciting because while we were exploring the nether, we found another boss called the nether gauntlet. And, uh, here's how the fight went. It, <laughs> it went pretty well. This is a boss room. No. We do it. Let's, uh, let's not. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not. We do it. Oh, don't. No, we're gonna die. Ah! He's alive! Get him, get him. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Ow! I cooked. Wait, immediately. Wait, another rat. Yeah, my bow is a little bit, a little bit overpowered. So if you're doing this, this mod pack, I would really recommend crafting this bow because it's, it's very strong. And since the bow was feeling a little strong, uh, we found another uh, warden biome, and uh, we were a little, little confident. Oh, he's here. This uh, tell me how that goes. It's going. I see him. I barely see him. I'm out of arrows. Ah! Oh, no! Uh. Do you have more arrows? Yeah, I have a stack. Ow! Okay. That didn't do that much damage. I got this. Okay, okay, he blasted me. I got blasted. Just get him back a little bit. Ow! Oh, wait, did I get him? Did I get him? Yeah, he's dead. He makes that sound when he dies. Yeah, that was uh, almost a really bad idea, but I'm glad we're still we're still alive. Day 54 and 55, we kind of just uh, returned home and took some time to just chill and enchant. Um, nothing really too crazy. We were kind of just working on the base, getting our gear upgraded, maybe doing some more organization. Um, but day 56, the imbuing table that I said I was kind of working towards a few days ago, I actually crafted, but I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with it, so. We just ended up adding decor to the base, and yeah. On day 57, there's this thing called the Inquisitive Gem that I needed to craft, and you kind of get it by putting a bunch of different potion effects on yourself, and you have to hold this other gem in your offhand, and once you do, it turns into the Inquisitive Gem. So, I think I need to get a bunch of status effects so I hold this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does this one get a bunch of duration? Okay. It worked. I did it. Inquisitive gym. And I needed this gym and a specific type of flowers that we didn't have. And uh, this turned into a big quest for flowers. Yeah, I, I was not able to find what I was looking for. But uh, then this thing happened. Huh? What did I just witness? <laughs> On day 58, since I failed at flowers, I was kind of back at it all day looking for more of that specific flower. After finally getting it, 
I was actually f ready to use the imbuing table for the first time, and I was able to make this gym that we kind of needed to craft something. Um, but the thing we crafted was the altar of experience, and it kind of just sucked, and we really didn't use it. So those whole days I spent getting flowers kind of just ended up being a waste of time. <laughs> Day 60, we were back in the mines looking for this uh, Roto Cross site, but it was the it was the gym that pretty much we were using for our armor. Now it was it's super strong. I don't know why it was so strong, but it's it's definitely what you want to use. Yeah, we were just looking for that in the mines. That that was our only goal. That took up all of day 60. On day 61, um, I don't remember when it happened exactly, but there's a way where you can like transfer. If you have diamonds in your hand and you're standing on a diamond block. If you transfer it from your offhand to your main hand, it kind of does this little like gambling thing and you get random loot or you get nothing. And I got a shulker box from one of that. So that's why I'd had a shulker box for a while. And I was able to upgrade the shulker box today to make it insanely big. I think I ended up getting it. Well, I, I can't remember while I'm doing the voiceover, but you can see what I ended up upgrading it to. It's freaking insanely big. So after making the shulker box, we were ready to start looking for the end, and we started exploring to go look for the stronghold. Um, while we were exploring, I kind of ended this this poor guy's life. I, I well, he kind of tried to attack me, so self defense. But you know, oh, shit. I just think there were two oh it's this guy. Oh, I about him. I got him. Totem of illusion. I got this totem of illusion, which I wasn't really sure what it did, but I kind of assumed it was like a totem of undying, so I kind of just held on to it. On day 62, we finally found the end portal, which is like super awesome because we, we're trying to get as many bosses, you know, unalived as possible. Um, we're exploring around the stronghold and pretty much just getting ready to hop into the end. Once day 63 started, we decided we're ready. Let's go to the freaking end. Let's do this. And I think we all know what happens next. Ah! Wait, what just happened? The end dragon just died almost. I'm gonna take him out. You want me to just take him out? I'm taking him out. I don't think I'm hitting him. You are not. Wait, is he down? Okay, they're all down. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he has. They have 400 health. Time for the thing. Is this guy mad at me too? What? what was that? That was the illusion. Oh, wait, what is this? What are all these things? It's confused. It's trying to kill you. Just a few more. Just a few more. No. All right, I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, I fireballed him, and he still didn't. Wait, I got a bunch of loot. I got a bunch of loot. Hold on. After successfully defeating the Inner Dragon, we have taken down our fourth boss so far in this playthrough, which is really crazy because, you know, we only started fighting him on day 50, and we've done 13 days and already taken out four, which is really nice. So after defeating the Inner Dragon, we kind of just returned home on day 64, and um, we had actually decided that we need some more experience. So I returned back to the end, and since we had already taken out the Inner Dragon, I kind of crafted this... Um, Enderman experience farm, it stretched a while. Like, it went from day 64 to 69 real fast. I, yeah, it took a ton of time to make, but it was so worth it because y you can see how productive it was once I was done. On day 70, kind of while I was still messing around with the experience farm, Small was exploring the end. I think she actually ended up getting us Elytras, or we got, we got Elytras at some point. But regardless, she found this, the Obsidian dude from Bosses of Mass Destruction. Uh, so I headed over to where she was. And we used an eye of end to summon him, and here's how the fight went. Hello. Ah! Oh! Get him! Wait, what is this? I don't know. We're not gonna give it a chance. Well. Did we win? Maybe? Pretty sure we just won. Yep, up here. There's a shulker. Five, uh... Oh! Wait, it's pretty. On day 71, I kind of just spent the whole day trying to get infinity for my minigun and my bow. Just because, I, I mean, I, did, I was tired of carrying stuff. The minigun blows through ammo, so you, like, need, uh, mending on... Or, not mending. You don't need mending. Mending doesn't let you use infinity. You need infinity. 
yeah, I was kind of just looking for perfect enchants, and that's that's pretty much what we were doing until day 75, just like, maximizing our enchants and stuff like that. On day 75, we finally found a boss that we had been looking for for quite some time, and we were able to fight him. It was a lot, a lot more dangerous than I thought it was going to be, but uh, here's how it went. What is that? Holy cow! Oh! Ow. Careful! You're in the blasting range. All right, I got him. I'll finish him off. I'm so low. Oh, I can't get out. You got this. You got this. I got hit so low. Oh my gosh, she's like one health. Get him. Get him. Ow. I can't help. I'm too far. Did you get it? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So the reason we had been looking for this boss specifically was because it drops loot to summon another boss. So like you can chain react and get a bunch of bosses done at the same time. So on day 76, we returned home with our loot and we were actually able to summon another boss right away from the same mod pack. But uh, this fight went a little bit differently. We weren't as confident in this one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> What is this? Okay, okay, wait, where's my bow? Okay, bow. Bonk. Look at him. Oh. Did he just not take damage? Oh my gosh, it's bouncing off. Okay, minigun. Is he like... Oh gosh, I don't want to get too close. He looks dangerous. Um, what are you doing? Are you doing an elytra? I'm gonna try that. <laughs> oh, that was scary. I hear whispering. That's scary. Alright, we're kind of shredding him. But he hasn't hit us, so... That's... That looks... Oh, back up. Did we get him? Is he down? He's down. Oh. Yeah. What's happening? Oh! He just healed. He has a new weapon, too. Does his new form take damage? I don't think it does. Oh, my gosh. Holy moly, did you see that? He just exploded his fingers. We are doing it. That is insane. Wait, what's he doing? He looked like he was about to go heal. What are those sounds? That's nasty. Where we get him? We got him. What is this? The Moonlight Greatsword. On day 77, we found a new pet, named him Rib Meat. Um, after that, we reunited with Larry since you guys, you guys remember Larry, the, the dog that went rogue? Yeah, we forgot about him for like 70 days. So he's back. Here he is. Look at him. How, how cute is he? Larry! He's here. Larry, you're alive. On day 78, I, I don't really know what I was thinking. This was kind of like a wasted day. I was just kind of spent the whole day in the nether trying to farm golden apples for some reason. Um, yeah, it, it really wasn't a good idea, and it was kind of just a waste of time. On day 79, though, I did spend a bunch of time trying to get looting on my sword so that we could get a bunch of wither skulls to fight the wither, which would be another boss. Uh, but, uh, on day 80, small, maybe ended up finding some wither skulls on her adventure, so me getting looting on my sword ended up not really being necessary. But regardless, we were ready to fight the wither now. Ow. Oh! Back up, 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 back so on day 81, now that we had the uh, nether star, we made the beacon, and I was kind of messing around with it for a while, figuring out how we were going to make a full beacon. And we also fought another boss later in the day, which uh, kind of did this. Uh, wait, what's going on? Why is he so low? Oh, Chungus. Wait, did it just die? They killed him. him what? Themselves. We didn't even do anything. Did he not? Oh my gosh. 
Day 82, I return back to the nether because the nether is actually pretty good for getting gold. And there's also like the Midas gold, which both of them actually work to make the beacon or like get the beacon to activate. So I kind of was just farming that type of gold all day, um, getting getting as much as I can for the beacon. But um, on day 83, uh, this happened. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Did you? Uh oh. You just expect me to oh, fix it? Oh, the house, it? the house, the house. Oh, we got <gasps> the house. It's raining. Rain, help us, please. I didn't mean to, I swear. <laughs> I, I don't really know. Yeah. Day 84, I kind of returned back to the nether to keep getting materials for the beacon. I, we, we've all made beacons before. It takes a lot of materials. It took a lot of time to get it right. But um, once it got to day 85, I finally had enough materials. And here here's the full beacon. It's pretty awesome, right? On day 86, there was... There's this, like, floating ship that had been in the area for a while. And... It was really high up, and now that we had elytras and we were like really strong, we decided we were actually probably strong enough to go do it. So I kind of we we flew up to it and and fought it. Glitched. Oh, that guy's alive. Why? Okay, these guys are way stronger than I was gonna expect. Spawn a break. Ow! I just got yeeted. Pumpkin pie. My oh, there is loot up top. All right, can we burn this place to the ground yet? Shaboom! Ow. On day 87, we started messing around with decorations since we had a bunch of extra loot and stuff. And using some of the stuff we had from the end, I actually found a way to make an end portal frame. Uh, Small didn't like that I made it, by the way. You are ruining the feng shui. The feng shui. Here, take this. Boop, boop. But after that, I went back to the uh, imbuing table and made this cool necklace that gave me some more hearts, which, you know, super useful since I've, I've been very close to death multiple times in this hundred days. But we are on day 87, so doing pretty well. On day 88 to 89, we kind of just went on another adventure looking for more bosses, and we found this cool, like, interesting Santa village. There wasn't really much else, but, you know, look at it. It's it's a cool little Santa village. Light the place up! On day 90, we found what we had been looking for. In the snow biome, there's this thing called, uh, I don't know what the thing's called, actually. There's this tower, and it has the lich boss. Um, so we decided to take him on and take out our next boss. And then I think we just do that. Yeah, whoa, that was so beautiful. Boom. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh oh! Oh, it's already, It's look at the time! Wait, he made it nighttime. You're not strong. This is how you're meant to fight this guy. We can match his energy. Oh, I missed. Oh. Dead. He's dead. He got smacked in the face with an arrow. Oh my god, wait, look at these enchantment books. Little bit interesting thing about the boss is he instantly changed it to night, so the day was like super fast. <laughs> so, you know, that was the end of day 90. On day 91, 92, I kind of got the idea to make some knives for some reason and dual wield them as a wizard. So that was my like little, little whim that I, I got on and enchanted those, but it was kind of worth it because they were like crazy damage. Like, I don't, I don't understand, but it was, it was pretty funny. We also headed back to check out the one creepy dude from earlier that I, 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 I don't know. Look, look at this. Look, look what happened. Seems like a boss. Oh, what, what was that? Excuse me, sir. Do you have... Oh! That was me, it didn't do anything. I think we should just leave. On day 93, we were kind of just exploring more of the world. We 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 really had a lot of stuff, so we were just looking for things to do. We we felt pretty strong, we had done a lot, but we did find this like rainbow biome that had a crazy like warden den underground, and it got a little interesting. I want to leave. I can't see. Oh. 
Up, 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 up here, up here. On day 94, I got us this super awesome pet. <laughs> Everyone needs one of these in their home. Small was super excited about it. It's in the house. What if it blows up, Thermite? I prepared a song for this, that in case that happens. Is it a sorry song? Yeah. I don't want to hear it. You blow up that house, you're living outside, and we won't be surviving a hundred days. Well, that's not going to have to happen because he's in my room now. On day 95, um, we got some more super cool pets, like the ones I showed yesterday, and I, I made him a cool little house. We were kind of just making a bunch of funny stuff until the day, until, until day 100, but we did have a few more bosses we wanted to go get. Day 96, we were still kind of just messing around, looking for things to do. We found this little, this wild, like, villager dungeon, and it was a little bit more crazy than we were expecting. I just do this. And open. Run, 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 run. Bad idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Almost lost the challenge there. So, on day 97 to 100, we wanted to close it out on a bang. So, we did a boss from the the same uh, the same mod that uses the, the, the magic wand that I'd been using. And we did a boss every day. And, well, here's, here's pretty much how they went. Boom. Ow, I'm getting slapped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it! Can I, can I hold the loot too? What is there? What is she? She was hot. Be -ni 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 -ni. Oh, he spawned fast. How foolish. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. We got him. Therm thermite stone. Woo! Get this man. Get, him. get this man. Get him, get him, get him. Good work. I've never been so stressed in my life. So to close it out on day 100, we we said our final remarks in game. The mod pack was super awesome, and we decided to close it out with a high stakes fishing tournament to see who was the best modded Minecraft player. It was amazing. My bow! You stole it. You stole my fishing reward. <laughs> Let me get, uh, yes. All right, I got my uh, item. So yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Here's, here's the grand total of the bosses that we defeated from Dark RPG in our 100 days. Let me know if you guys actually think this is like a lot of bosses or not enough bosses. I don't really know. We we did as many as we <laughs> we felt like possible. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. Let me know if you guys like this 100 day style content. So make sure to like the video if you like the video. And subscribe if you like subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.